Hey everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I am sitting down to share with you what's in my husband's stocking. I have been doing this video for several years, so if you're looking for more ideas on items to put in your man's stocking, I will have all of my previous videos linked in the description box below. Speaking of getting more stocking stuffer ideas, I am doing this video in collaboration with my friend Hillary from Old World Home. She will also be sharing what is in her husband's stocking today as well. I will have her channel linked in the description box below. Hillary is also doing Vlogmas this year and I think you guys will really enjoy following along this holiday season. So when you get done watching my video, make sure to check hers out, subscribe to her channel, and let her know I sent you. Before I share with you what I put in my husband's stocking this year, I thought I would just give you a little bit of background on him. He is a 28-year-old, very practical male. I would almost put him in the minimalist category. If he cannot consume it or use it right away, he does not want any part of it. If it is not something practical, he will just get rid of it because he's not about clutter. He doesn't care about limited time packaging. He doesn't care about mini sized cute items. They're just not his thing. So I try to make him a very practical stocking every single year. I have a few things that I know he'll enjoy, things that I know he can use, and also a few things that he had on his Amazon wish list. My husband and I make Amazon wish lists every single year and we just buy each other things off of there because we know the other wants them. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, there are a few items that did not fit in my husband's stocking, so I will share those first. I'll probably just lean these next to his stocking or put them in a basket or something. I usually always go overboard when it comes to stockings. So the first item I picked up is this. This is one of his Amazon wishlist finds. It is a windshield cleaner. My husband has his dream truck. He is absolutely in love with it. He has a car wash membership and takes it to the car wash several times a week. And I think he just wants to keep this in his truck to clean off the windshield from time to time. So again, I found this on Amazon. I will try to link everything that I mentioned in the description box below. I picked him up a bag of trail mix. He really enjoys trail mix, especially when he's at work. This is the Archer Farms Peanut Butter Monster Trail Mix from Target. This has peanuts, peanut butter chips, raisins, M&Ms, peanut butter chocolate candies, peanut butter pretzel balls, and peanut butter cups. He is all about the peanut butter and chocolate. He loves this, so I thought I would pick him up a bag. I think they're around three or four dollars. Then this is absolutely gross to me. I don't know how he enjoys these, but he really loves chocolate covered cherries. So I think last year, maybe even the year before, I discovered that they had dark chocolate covered cherries and he loves dark chocolate. So I try to get him a box of these every year for Christmas. And like I said, I think they're nasty, but he enjoys them. So let me know in the comments below, do you or anyone you know like these chocolate covered cherries? Not a fan. <laughs> so moving on to what is actually in his stocking, here it is. The first thing that is in here is a bottle of Captain Morgan white rum. This is his favorite alcohol. And like I said, in the past, I have gotten him little mini bottles of alcohol and they just sit in the cabinet and he never uses them because he always reaches for the larger bottles. So I just decided this year to get him a whole full size bottle and he doesn't drink that fast. Like he'll drink this over time. So I figured this is a decent sized bottle that will last quite a while. So I picked that up for him. He also loves Sudoku puzzles. He loves any kind of puzzles, really. He just loves thinking and trying to figure things out. Not my thing, but he loves them. So I picked this up at Dollar Tree for a buck. You can't beat it. Also in here, I have some goodies because what is a stocking without candy? So I found this dark chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoon with mini marshmallows from Trader Joe's. I believe I saw this for the first time last year and I got him one and he thought it was so cool. So I got him one this year and decided just to throw it in his stocking. And then his favorite candy, Reese's Trees, well, Reese's peanut butter cups, but these are the fun tree shapes for Christmas. So I got him that. What else do we have in here? My husband loves fun dress socks. So I found this pair on Amazon and they say I'd rather be watching football. So when you have your feet out, like you're just lounging on the couch or whatever, it would say I'd rather be watching football. And then the top of the socks look like that. And I just thought these are really cool because my husband loves dress socks and he loves football. So I picked those up on Amazon. And then I found these the other day at Old Navy. These are just Mickey Mouse dress socks. We go to Disney quite often and he actually saw these and thought they were cool. So I snuck them in the bag and they will be in his stocking this year. 
I have a few more items in here. Next up is this Method Men Body Wash Collection. I got this on Black Friday at Target for around $3 or $4. My husband and I do travel quite often, so it's always nice to have travel size items laying around so we can just throw them in a bag and go. In this collection, we have Cedar and Cypress, Juniper and Sage, and Sea and Surf Body Wash, and I think you will really enjoy this. Next up, we have the traditional scratch off tickets. I got my husband five of the just dollar scratch off tickets from Publix for the Florida lottery. I get carded every single time I buy scratch off tickets, which is kind of insane because I think you only have to be 18 to buy scratch off tickets and I'm 27. So there's that, but I got him five and hopefully he will be a big winner. But this is something that my husband and I do every single year. We always put scratch off tickets in each other's stockings. I think I have two more things in here. The next item is this ornament. I try to get my husband a new ornament every year. I just think it's a fun tradition and it's always fun to look back on when we're decorating the tree. So this is the grape soda pin. If you guys watched Up, you'll know what this is from. Um, Up is one of our favorite movies. And I saw this at Disney when we were there, gosh, I wanna say months ago. This was $21.99. And then of course I used my annual pass order discount. So I'm putting this in his stocking and I think he will think it is really cute. And then last but not least, I don't know. This is something that my husband found on Amazon that he really wanted. Let me read you the title. It says it is bullet style polished aluminum valve stem caps pack of four. I think I actually need eight. I think I need to get another pack, but these are a few dollars on Amazon. This is something he wanted for his truck. And like I mentioned earlier, his truck is his baby and he's always trying to deck it out with the coolest things. So I will link these below if your man might be interested in that. And that is everything that is in his stocking. I feel like I didn't go too overboard. A lot of the items are just large size. Like these two items alone could take up the entire stocking. So I'm gonna have to play around with it, figure out how I'm gonna fit everything. But that is it for what is in his stocking this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like more ideas, you can find my previous videos in the description box below. And also don't forget to go check out Hillary's video from My Old World Home. I cannot wait to see what she is putting in her husband's stocking. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you do a stocking for your husband in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the rest of Vlogmas and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone.